This is a 1908 Hammond number no. 2 typewriter. This is one of the most unique and beautiful machines in my collection. The main, the main thing about the Hammond typewriter, if you notice, there are no type slugs. This is a single element machine in the vein of, say, the Blickensdurfer or even the IBM Selectric. It has a three row keyboard with separate capitals and figure keys with separate locks for each. Space bar. This one does have a back space. And up here, this is actually a blind writer of some sort. You see this tab here to see what the ribbon obscures what you're typing. To see what you're typing, you push down on that, you can see what you typed, let go of it, and once again, it's invisibly typing. Over here is your paper release, your uh, carriage release. This here is your paper feed. This here is the adjustment for the line spacing. Down here we have the spring winder for the main spring. There's your bell and hammer assembly. And there is your right margin slash bell. My machine's uh, rear cover plate is missing, which would have the left margin on it. So unfortunately I can't demonstrate that feature. Over here is your single platen knob and your paper feed lever. Now, this machine has a unique feature. If you lift this up here and pull up here, you can see the type shuttle. These type shuttles, of which I have two, this one here is regular old, plain old typewriter font. But this one over here is fancy. Say you don't want to use the regular typewriter font, you want to type something fancy, say? Well, the Hammond makes it really easy. All you do is take the type shuttle out and replace it with another one. Uh, let's give a quick typing demonstration of the Hammond number two. Paper insertion into the Hammond typewriter is a little different than your average typewriter. First, you need to do that. Then you're going to have to roll the paper up. Like this. Once that's done, you have to slide it in between the carriage, the feed rollers, and the impression strip, which is a piece of rubber that is used to cushion the strike of the hammer, because this machine operates with a hammer hitting the type shuttle from behind. Once that's done, we can close the, the paper release and push it over to the beginning of our line. Now, I can give a short typing demonstration. Line space is a little hard to use since the feed rollers are a bit hard. All right, and that is that. Now, though, let's pull up on here, take this out. We're going to show you how easy it is to simply remove that shuttle and put in this one. Now, I'm going to simply turn it, place that in a little slot, and we've now, oh, now I have it ready to type with fancy text.
as you notice, well, it looks like I made some typos there, uh, it has nice little accented details on this type shuttle compared to the normal one over here, which is just regular old typewriter font. On this machine, it has both ribbon spools. Uh, if you loosen or tighten the knob, it controls the direction of the ribbon spool. So one must be loose and one must be tightened at all times to direct the ribbon. There is no automatic ribbon reverse in this machine. It is completely manual. It has a celluloid shield up front. Uh, you could order uh, different type shells in, in, from different languages, and they would have a paper piece of paper that would clip onto this that would show you the new keyboard layout of your new shuttle that you installed with whatever language or keyboard you put on it. That was one of the benefits of the machine. They advertised the fact that it can write in all languages and tongues. This machine is really, really beautiful. And an interesting fact of this machine, the first Hammond came out in 1880. Hammond eventually was bought by a company and was turned into what's called the Veritiper, which was a cold typesetting machine, which lasted into the mid-1970s, making the Hammond the longest-lived typewriter design of any machine. It's interesting to believe that 1880s technology was still at work inside the Veritiper of the 1970s. In fact, once you take off the cover panels, you can see it is basically the exact same parts inside. So I'm just giving you some more shots of this machine because it is, again, very, very, very pretty. And once again, Thank you. And have a good day.